I'm interested in looking at a lot of the, the automatic behaviors that get in the way of working on music and other, other creative work. And the topic of the, this, this video is going to definitely be the phone. But I wanted to, yeah, relate it back to my last video involving the idea of the smoker who is automatically on autopilot lighting up more cigarettes. This was a story of a man who I met when I was playing golf. And, and if we can re reformulate our, our mind to uh, be more comfortable with say practicing instrument or recording or doing doing things that have a bit more resistance in in the current state and i just want to remind us that uh, when i was younger we had video games so i i was around before the the internet and uh, before the internet was in every home and uh TV was like a major thing. Like everyone watched so much TV and the news was, was big and video games. We had Nintendo and then I had Sega Genesis. So a lot of the stuff, the, the way we operate now, a lot of the groundwork was kind of set in, in those years, kind of couch potato technology, couch potato culture. And so a lot of this isn't really new, but I would say in the phone, it, it's become, it's just so quick to, and easy to, to get in there and, and yeah, it can take up a whole night easily, it can take up your whole day. Uh, being on the computer also has a lot of distraction. That's why it's very hard to do any work that involves using the web as your tool because you're let's say you have to be logged into google to, to use a service well you're now um you're checked you're able to check your gmail really easily so there's a lot of management personal management that has to go on and i don't think we necessarily all have the the nece the tools to to do that and that's what this this video aims to offer a bit of so when I pick up the phone, mine actually doesn't have notifications on the uh, on the home screen. So I'm at an advantage to a lot of people who get notifications from, say, Instagram. I don't know why anyone would would do that to themselves. It's but so I can't judge. But I would say turn off in notifications like that um, when you have a home screen. So when I pick up the, this phone. I can ask myself a few questions, which I'm going to to go over with you. And, and picking up the phone, this is this is the moment where you can either go in and get lost in there, or you can um, you can put it back down and you know re refocus where you would where you'd like to spend your your time and energy and that sort of thing. So the, the first question is, you pick up the phone, you say, um, what am I looking for in this phone? And are you specifically looking for a piece of information? Some, you have to get back to someone about something. Um, is there something specific in there? If there's not, then you might have to really reevaluate why you're, you're picking up the phone and going in there. The next question would be, um, you know, holding it up, you say, what part of me needs, needs something in this phone? So is it your arm that needs, needs to be in the phone? Um, does it need to get some movement? So it's, it's going to, needs a because that could be part of it too is that your hands need a, a something a, a fixation and it loves the that's this feeling but most likely the hand does not need anything in the phone and um, you're probably not looking up information on on better better arm lig your ligaments in your arm and how to use your arm better um, 
a, a deeper question would be, uh, does, does my heart need something in this phone? And not the, the pulmonary heart, but the sort of the emotional heart. I think that's where a lot of people, they, they we, we like to go into the phone for that. Mostly that reason, especially when you look at like a social media, is, is, is there a part of loneliness in, in my heart that wants to go in here? Um, how about the mind, is my brain? Does the, the mind, is it seeking some kind of information inside the phone? Um, so yeah, you say, is, is, what part of me needs to be in here? And um, the mind, if it is a mind thing, um, you're looking for information, then so be it, but be very specific. Um, sometimes a, if a, a bad trap is, is that we have, we're working on say a plan with a friend about what to do, or we're having a chat with a friend and it's going on and it's an unclosed loop. I think ideally we would figure out the plan. Maybe you, you can call a friend and get that worked out rather than having to go into the phone and then what, along the way you go into some other apps. So I think, yeah, I don't want to belabor the point, but really try to get in touch with, with why you would do that and see, you know, how does, um, if you knew that you need to say practice your instrument or uh, work on something, um, ask yourself is, um, am I looking for a way out of that? inside the phone. Um, and you can start to whittle away at other things such as food. Um, you know, a lot of people will have, you know, myself included, you know, looking for say, um, snacks when you, when it's time to, to play or, or, or you need a nap. Um, so, so what, 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 what part of this nap do I really, really need? Or is it, um, is it, is it a deflection from, from the work that really needs to get done? So you can ask, the phone is one thing, those questions for the phone, but um, ask them in other areas and, and try to get to the bottom of the automatic behavior.